Nowadays, between eating out and at home, the cost of rubbish and waste disposal, our health and tax bills, we spend something like 30% of the average gross wage on feeding ourselves. And still, more than 50% of the food we produce is thrown away. How did we end up this way? For over four million years, we ate like our primitive ancestors. In other words, whatever came to hand in our surroundings. It wasn't until the Industrial Revolution that we changed our traditional diets and dove headlong into the hectic rhythm of the city. The lack of time is what made us give up our control over our diet to industry. But so far, industry has been unable to produce commercially the dishes our ancestors survived on. So instead, a new kind of fast food was invented and we became Americanized. Our diet changed drastically as hundreds of fast food chains sprang up everywhere, selling a new kind of food where the packaging is more important than the content. And this new food contains mysterious ingredients that we've never tasted before, like preservatives, flavor enhancers, additives, sweeteners, nitrates, stable... Emulsifying agents, antibiotics, MSG, antioxidants, sulfites, and thousands of different colorings. And a new food tyrant was born, the supermarket, which in its quest for added value made us believe that protein is meat. So we stopped eating wheat and vegetables, feeding them to the animals. The same animals that later we would find in our plates. And with our higher meat consumption and our dietary imbalances, obesity has become a pandemic. And cardiovascular diseases have become a part of the family. And this meat creates methane, a gas which is almost more lethal than all the CO2 generated by the world's traffic. And so we arrive to the present day, where obese and starving people share the same planet. Where half of the food produced for our consumption is systematically trashed. Some in the field due to overproduction and market logistics, some in the supermarket and the rest in our houses. Imagine the ecological footprint this industry is leaving on our earth.